President, Prime Ministers, Governor General, Your Royal Highness, Your Excellencies, dear friends, welcome to all of you who have traveled from afar to make this assembly once again the largest annual international gathering on the Arctic, but also one of the primary gatherings in Europe and perhaps in the world on the challenges we face, the melting of the ice, the changes in the climate, the new geopolitical situation, the tensions and the conflicts, as well as the opportunities and the dynamic forces of altering our way of life, our economies, to make sure that the planet and the Arctic will survive for centuries to come. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of the governments, institutions, associations, universities, think tanks, and others who have organized sessions in the coming three days. We will have over 200 sessions with more than 600 speakers and we already know that this assembly has set a record in terms of the number of participants, well over 2,000 participants from almost 70 countries. It, it is a formidable demonstration of the desire from so many different quarters of the planet to come together in a new dialogue, in a new form of cooperation, and to seek solutions to any of these challenges that we face. And also in the shadow of wars and increasing geopolitical tension, it is in fact remarkable that all of you have come here today to send the world the message. We want to continue, despite the hurdles, to achieve results for a better future. I also want to take this opportunity to thank the government of Greenland for the extraordinary successful forum we had at the end of August in Nuuk. It turned out to be one of, if not the largest international gathering of its kind in the history of Greenland, but it also demonstrated that this ice covered part of the planet, the second largest after Antarctica, is now center stage in our global concerns. And as we move from here into the coming months, the Arctic Circle will bring the dialogue on the third pole on the Arctic to Abu Dhabi in, uh, in January, and the discussion on the increasing role of Asia in the Arctic in Tokyo in March. In addition, as will be announced towards the end of this assembly, early in 2024 in one of the major capitals of Europe, we will continue the dialogue on the role of Europe in uh, the future of the Arctic. I also want to thank leading countries like the United States and India for having chosen this platform to present their new Arctic policies that are almost fresh from the printer, so to speak. I think it demonstrates the political significance of the Arctic that on the one hand, the United States and the other India have decided to present to you, to all of you, and to take questions from all of you on their new Arctic policy. Because it has always been an integral part of the democratic structure of the Arctic Circle that anyone who speaks on the stage takes questions from the audience on the views on the policies put forward. So I say to all of you, be prepared. After most of the speakers have finished on the stage, I will come up and invite all of you to put questions. You just have to put up your hands and we will bring you uh, the microphones so the democratic engagement is really up to you. It's not my responsibility. I'm just a facilitator. So I hope you, you will prove once again 
that you are a challenging audience. So let me thank you and with those words welcome you again and invite the Prime Minister of Iceland, Kantrin Jakobsdóttir, to make the opening speech.